you've had a chance to play some high level competition in 2017 uh, with ESL's King of the Hill. So I wanted to get your take on what impresses you the most with season two and the least right now. The best thing so far about day one are people can't like wake up DP. So I can just like, <laughs> I, I can just go in, right? And, and like, I'm used to not having a DP without meter. So I'm, I'm like right at home, right at home, you know? The thing that I like the least is probably that there's still input lag. Do you really think they're gonna they're they're gonna lower that input delay or or what? I think Capcom like they may be trying to just save money or they're taking advantage of people like not knowing anything about lag. Like they don't know about TV lag. They don't know about the game lag. They don't care. They just play the game. They think it's just you know they're just, they're just playing Street Fighter. I know that the casual player is what they were shooting for before mm -hmm. the game launched and I feel like they missed the mark in a lot of ways. I don't think they got those players that they wanted. So <laughs> it's kind of uh it seems kind of weird that they're in this position now where it's like they do they're still doing things with this idea of like we're we still want to cater to the casual player, but they don't really have the casual player, I think. And so now it's like do do we go back on that and and cater it towards what, you know, the the pros or or esports wants. Having said that, you still like Cammy. Cammy was improved. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think she is. For she was arguably. Two. Yeah, she was arguably like top three before. So the fact that they buffed her was like, all right, cool. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> We've established she's she's still one of the best characters in the game. Uh, but I actually wanted to ask you about some of the other characters that were buffed. We know the, uh, the ones that weren't, or or the the ones that were even nerfed. But the characters that were buffed, and I think the ones we see the most uh, talked about, are like Laura, Balrog, and Urian. Yeah. Uh, I think as we saw last year, as months progressed, we saw diff the game evolve, especially with different characters. But my question to you is, with these particular characters, like Laura, Balrog, Urian, um, is this sort of are, are they are they are they for real? Is this sort of like the early hype? Uh, you know, will, will they will they be viable throughout 2017? I guess. I think the hype is there for a reason because yeah. these characters are are obviously stronger than uh, than the others. You know, like the, the their damage and like their 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 setup potential, all that stuff. Like Balrog, I, I saw like a video where Balrog, like this guy, you see his input and he tried to block the overhead, you know, and he got hit and he died. Right, like it's like those kind of things are are gonna just build up like like people are gonna slowly find what's gonna make them even better there's some characters that are kind of like going under the radar like uh karen karen's still really good she mm -hmm. still has like pretty much everything she had before except like right. they, they kind they kind of nerfed her medium kick and they kind of nerfed her stand -like kick but other than that she still has like those really good resets and stuff so i'm sure i know you pay attention to all this uh on twitter and social media um I, I I believe that Capcom is paying attention also. Unfortunately, we haven't heard anything from them, but I, I really wanted to get your take on this. Um, all the complaining and criticism about Street Fighter V, whether it's fair or not, and, and you know a lot of it is fair, um, maybe some of it's not, do you think it helps when Capcom sees these people that are complaining and criticizing the game but are still highly engaged with the game and, and, and tournaments? You, you you see all this complaining, and you and you also see on Capcom side they're like seeing people haven't really stopped playing. You know, like people complain about like their root kit and stuff like that, but right. that didn't really that really didn't change much in terms of like people not playing. You know, right. so it's like it's like they they kind of can maybe they feel like they can kind of just get away with stuff in at the end of the day because they're like, well, people are still playing. You know, like oh, we're still the most popular fighting game. You know, like well, what what will change their mind, you know, to make them want to like listen to the 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 people really? Because you know, I went to camp, I went to what was it, a uh, Comic Con, and I, I sat through their uh, their their press conference or whatever, right? And they right. were saying, you know, one of the things was that they were like, uh, we're we're gonna model like our updates around like the the feedback, right? And I think some of the feedback they did listen to, but like the the majority of the feedback that I think cost some more money for them like fixing the input lag like i think they'd have to just like go 
and like spend hella money like just to dig in and fix the input lag. So maybe they're they're trying to think of it as like a from a money standpoint. Maybe they're waiting to get more more backing, you know, like to, to is, go. Is, is it fair? Do you think the criticism and whatnot's fair? The negative stigma is fair when they're not listening, you know. So if if they do listen, it would help remove some of the stigma. But right. it also makes me wonder, like. Like why aren't they listening? You know, or like what what's their their game plan here? You know, like I don't I don't get it. But uh, I do think they should be more vocal with some of their updates. Like they they they're saying like, oh we're gonna have these new characters, right? But it's like, yeah. like when like even last year they were more vocal. Like they showed exactly when the characters were coming. We haven't heard anything. Like we just we got the Kuma, right. and and they expect right. like oh you guys. You guys should be fine with Akuma for like three or four months, you know. So I, I think if if Capcom was more vocal and tried to communicate with their community more, not just us, but like fighting game fans in general, like I think a lot of people would be appreciative of that. Because even like even more casual people, like people I know that don't even go to tournaments, like they they pay attention to this stuff and sure. they they see they see like the the negative stuff and it, it makes them not want to play. So. I, I feel like if there was more positive stuff like them actually communicating, that would help their their overall game plan. I'm sure you saw Infiltration talk about uh, Street Fighter V Season 2, Capcom Cup 2016, all that. Uh, my question, having said, having talked about what you just talked about, uh, what do you think, do you think more players like him speaking out sort of openly and honestly uh, affects will, will affect what Capcom does with this game and Capcom Pro Tour, or is it just sort of one of those things that, as long as people are still playing and entering tournaments, then you know I, I know they want to improve the game, but it's sort of like one of those things where hey, people are still engaged with the game, so it's fine. I do think people like Infiltration, like that was big, like that, that sent like yeah. shock shock waves through the whole FGC. Like people were like, you know, like oh, he's actually like saying what we've been thinking or or some people were just like, oh, like what the hell? Like I didn't know any of this. One of the one of the things that I think will it for sure be changed is how the the Capcom Cup was handled because sure. be, being someone that was there uh, the whole day, mm -hmm. uh, it was crazy. Like just to, you could see like their the the the, the strain on each of their yeah. faces, especially like some of the people I got lucky and just went through winners and and got to go. You didn't hear anything from them. Like do do just like you know swept through and like he he would like say stuff like oh like I'm just tired of like the 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 long breaks like three hour. He would, mm -hmm. would imagine and have to wait like three hours. Even that is like really mentally draining. But you had some people that would. Maybe like going to losers like first game that had to play all the way through. Like I think uh, Luffy lost kind of early and had to just wait yeah. and wait and grind it out. And that dude, that guy, he was in like the VIP room and he looked like he was dying. Like he was trying to like catch naps any like moment he could. And I, I was like, man, I I, I really wanted to be in Capcom Cup this year, but man, you guys, <laughs> you, you guys, you guys look like right now. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think they wanted to to run it the way they did. But yeah. they had they had restraints with uh, with uh, the the venue. I think. Let me ask you this: Is can Street Fighter V succeed without the Capcom Pro Tour at this point? I mean, we're already we're already a year in. We're we're you, we've all you know seen what what the game is and what the Pro Tour is. Uh, having gone through Ultra Street Fighter Four now and Street Fighter V. It's it's kind of in a I think I still feel like it's kind of in a weird situation with the game um, and the Capcom Pro Tour. It almost feels like one can't exist without the other at this point. So, do you think Street Fighter Five could still be successful if there was no Capcom Pro Tour? I don't hear about Street Fighter besides like tournaments or right. like or bad press, you know. So it's like unless they do something big to to really capture people's attention again, I, I don't think that it could really survive without. The Capcom Pro Tour, because I think it's a lot of the players are playing five solely because it's it has money in it and it, it's Capcom Pro right. Tour. So, in terms of like it being fun to watch for the tournaments, I don't think as many people would want to play five and would play something else. You know, yeah. Um, like I, I've heard it from a lot of pro players, like they're mostly in it for the money. I myself am kind of you know playing it for like the money too, because. There's a lot of things wrong with the game right now. I I enjoy the game still, 
but there's just a lot of things wrong. So I don't know. What do, what do you think could make casuals follow the games or tournaments more? Or do uh, we care? You, do we want that to happen? I think we want we we would definitely want them our games to be on the scale of like a sports like team or right. you know like game. We want us to be on TV and stuff, you know. But a lot of that comes down to to money. So the, these these teams get on TV because they make deals with you know like networks, right? And how is how is Street Fighter going to do that if Capcom doesn't have money for that? And a, a lot of them getting money is going to come from them capturing the the right. the casual people, like you said. And yeah. I feel like the only way they're going to capture casuals at this point is if they they just do everything they can to make it so they just have good press flowing through. Like you want you don't want to hear about like lag. You don't want to hear about bad net code. You need also something for the single player. So mm -hmm. a big part of like casuals are they don't like to play online. They like to play arcade mode, even though mm -hmm. people like discredit arcade mode. Like they like arcade mode, you know, it, it's been a yeah. staple of street fighter since like the dawn of time. You go to an arcade, you play arcade mode, you know, most of the time there's not someone there to play with. Um, it, it mostly is going to come down to money, good press. And yeah, it, it's hard because Capcom really put them in a, put themselves in like a bad situation. I, I've actually talked with a lot of players recently about this. Um, I think that one of the reasons that we like sports so much also is because we follow players, right? We, we follow teams, but we follow players too. And I mean, when you think yeah. about NFL, you know, you think like, yeah, there's, there's the Patriots or there's the Packers, but I mean, a lot of people like those teams because it's Tom Brady or it's uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, and I think stars, when it, yeah. Yeah, when we look at fighting games, like there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of great personalities. There's, there's some not so great ones too. Uh, um, but do you feel like it would be in the, and I know this is maybe more of an esports type question, but I think when it comes to like the FGC, do you feel like we should be marketing um, players better so that people are more interested? Like what can get more people more interested in following players and investing sort of like in Alex Myers and what Alex Myers is doing, which uh, in turn then gets them interested in like whatever team, what, you know, right now Ronin, but you know, in the future it could be Ronin, it could be whoever. What I think we could do to, to better market our players comes down to like really like the teams of the sponsored players. Like you, you have like say the Patriots, right? They put a lot of money into like, Mm -hmm. you'll see tom brady on like family guy you'll see tom brady on like commercials and stuff right we need we need something like what red bull's doing for like say snake eyes right snake eyes had documentaries multiple documentaries he had uh his face on like in like grocery stores i had like some of my friends are like are barely <laughs> fgc fgc like talking about like oh hey i see snake eyes like at my grocery store i'm like what and like no i see i'm like on like an ad you know so yeah. i think if you can find ways to to market them through like i think we need more production in in yeah. the fgc like you don't see yeah. much like uh outside stuff outside the game like you just see them as like a player and maybe some interviews you know but you don't see them much besides like their stream and stuff we need like uh like actual we need like better production value in the fgc to promote the players better yeah. uh some of that could come down to the team but if Capcom was willing to put in money into that too. I think that would help them a lot because, like you said, you you get people interested in the players. Those people become interested in in the game itself. You know, like they could have like yeah. their favorite player. Oh, this guy plays Zangief. Zangief's so sick. They start following Snake Eyes. Then they start following the the Capcom tour. All that. It's like a it's like a domino effect. You have yeah. this thing, and it just starts trickling down, and it just yeah. It'll lead to something better for the Well, FGC. one thing that comes to mind, and I think we've seen this with a few players, um, a few very like high-profile players, but the first time uh, I heard, the first time we talked about how you got into fighting games, you told me, you know, you watched Daigo uh, just kill everyone in, yeah, yeah. what was it, 2010? Uh, 2011? I think, I think, yeah, it was, it was 10. It was definitely Evo. 2010, 2011. yeah. Yeah. And obviously everyone knows Daigo, right? Like yeah. I think there are even outside of the, the community, I think enough people know about Daigo. Um, yeah. But I, I think one of the things you hit on was like the idea that, yeah, a, a lot of our marketing, branding, a lot of our support is still very 
focused within the community and it's tough to kind of get out of that. So I, you know, I really want uh, people to understand that, you know, what you just said, getting people following players and getting into the games, it's not just the games that, that draw people in. It's, it's the people that the players that draw people in too, you know, like you, you were pulled in by Daigo. And I mean, at some point we'd like the, I think everyone uh, involved would like to see more, more More involvement in, you know, Hey, how does Alex Meyer, like, I watched Alex Myers and, and he just killed it, you know, at this tournament or this year or whatever. And, and I want to get into fighting games and, um, I'm not sure how, how we, we get to that point. Uh, obviously money's one way, but that's the thing, you know, we're, a lot of people don't know how to make money in esports yet. And yeah, so we're kind of at this weird, this weird juncture. Like how do you um, expand, you know, it, it, it's hard. Maybe like, do like a, like a crossover with another game i don't know it's just like it's like man we, we need like a, a better business model i think in general for esports like once you say stuff like that uh it makes me think like maybe we just need to work on our our model a little more do you feel like there's any changes that can be made that can attract more more people whether it's viewers or just more people to the games itself um I, you know one of the things that stands out to me I don't necessarily feel like Street Fighter V or like Capcom Pro Tour should switch to like all teams based play throughout the entire season. But I do know that watching something like uh, Cooperation Cup, which is oh, yeah. the Japanese third strike tournament, teams tournament, I mean, those guys are so incredibly hype about that tournament. It's for the love of the game. You can see it because they don't get, there's no prize pool, so they don't there's get no, money yeah, for it. Yeah. No. And they show up, so many of those, those guys show up um, because they want the bragging rights. And I do, I do feel like that's actually something that Street Fighter V is missing. I feel like mm-hmm. when when you guys go through your tournaments, whatever, yeah, I mean, most of you are are playing for money. I, I think that's a that's a that's a big attraction. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but yeah. I feel like we're missing uh, like bragging rights. Is there any way that we can change that? Whether it's like t- more teams play, based play or um, introducing different things in tournaments, like I don't know what we can borrow from like MOBAs, like Dota Two and league where there's like picks and bans or different strategies involved in in the actual uh um you know i guess team-based play i i think a team-based thing would help too but a lot of what comes down to making the game so hype is passion so like yeah the cooperation cup they're very passionate about the game like they they are content and they like the game right like the game is how they want the game to play right Five is still in like its early phase, so I don't think we should be yeah. too critical. Not right. too critical of it right now because they they have some room to grow. Like four, Street Fighter Four at first wasn't the the perfect game, but it became mm-hmm. something good once like Super came along, right? Um, I think as long as you m- cater towards the players at least a little bit, because there's a lot of players, like I said earlier, complaining about the lag. Sure. I feel like if, if they can play their game the way they want it to, they will be more passionate about the game. They will l- actually love playing the game and not just play it for money, right? So if you have them being passionate about it, you see the passion uh, of the community and you see it in the players when they play. Like you, you see them like pop off when they win. We need something like the lag being fixed to make the players really yeah. be passionate about the game. Because you can, you can see it, dude, and... Once you see that and you feel that, I feel like that was something that really drew me in to the FGC. Like just seeing the the passion, right? Like at Evo, like when Daigo was like just beating Ricky, like you just hear the crowd like erupting, and you can see like Daigo is like super passionate when he's playing. You can see it like when he's playing. You can see the dedication. You can see all the intricacies in the passion, and I think yeah. that that's kind of lacking in Five right now. It's kind of kind of robotic, but it comes down to like. The players need to be more passionate themselves, and I think right. that kind of kind of falls on Capcom themselves. But a, a teams thing would be cool. But first to one, Street Fighter Five was kind of brutal. I don't know. As we as we wrap up here, are you passionate? I am passionate about Five. I just want some things tweaked. Uh, sure. In in terms of like share uh, like sharing my passion that I feel, a lot of it comes from the community. So. Uh, a big part of why I like playing five is to, I like the 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 what's the word, the hype I feel from the crowd. Like when you when you go on stage and you win and you feel them like cheering for you, that's a personal thing for me. Like my passion comes from playing and doing well. Like I enjoy 
the feeling of winning. I'm very competitive, and I enjoy the feeling of the crowd. What's fair to expect from Alex Myers in 2017? Expect me not to just play Cammy. So oh, I, I see, okay. I've I've seen do. I watched do. Me and do are like do is like one of my best friends. So like I've I've yeah. seen him. I saw his progression. Like he started off playing Na just Nash in the beginning, yeah. and then like then he moved on to Mika because he saw Marn play Mika, and then and then there's Guile. So like you you see like this progression, right? And the 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 ability to win doesn't just come down to like how good you are. It also comes down to like how you play the game and the matchups, right? So say say do ran into a bad matchup, he would go Mika. He had no no fear of switching. So I I feel like if I'm getting a, a bad matchup or I'm getting outclassed to just go Laura, right? Like I'm yeah. going to be playing Laura. So oh if I if I feel like, you know, I need to go the do <laughs> route, I'm going to do it cuz I want to win more than ever now. So yeah. I, I feel like I can do work with Cammy a lot cuz she's really good now. And I, yeah. I feel like she she does favor to how I play. It's just gonna come down to like how i adjust the seasons <laughs> alex myers uh thank you for joining me for this this inaugural episode of conversations and fireballs all right i'll see you soon right, we'll talk soon